So I was recently tidying up my room and I came across these. Now these are all the practice questions I did in preparation for my Cambridge admission test, which I sat in November of last year, 2021. So I thought in this video, I'd go through that material and share with you how I prepared for my Cambridge admission test. By the way, I did the admission test for economics, which at the time was the ECAA, and I did manage to get an offer. So the biggest thing that helped me successfully prepare for my admission test was literally just doing lots and lots of practice. And the reason for this is that for the most part, admission tests are very different to tests you've done in the past. And thus the best way to prepare and familiarize yourself with these tests is just to do lots of practice. Now many admission tests have been going on for a very long time, in which case, great, you've got a large bank of questions which you can use to practice from. On the other hand, some have not been going on for that long at all, in which case finding sufficient papers to practice and prepare from can be quite difficult. And this was something that I experienced last year. So for example, when I started the ECAA last year, the test had only been going on for about five or six years. And of those five or six papers that were available, only two or three were of the same style of test that I was sitting. But as you can see from a large number of papers and questions here, I still managed to find a way to sufficiently prepare for my test. So the way I did this was by finding questions similar to the questions I'd be facing in the admission test, but that weren't officially on past papers. For instance, in my case, I used past papers for natural sciences and engineering admission tests as they shared similar mathematical questions as part of my preparation. Also, I used questions from the UKMT as they were also a similar style. So although it's not always easy, it is very much essential to ensure that you're doing lots and lots of practice for these tests. In terms of pure numbers, when I started year 13, I was trying to do quite a few of these tests per week. And for the few weeks before the test day, I would try and do a paper a day. And not only is it really important to do lots and lots of practice, it's also really important to do this practice in timed conditions. And this is because in a lot of cases, the actual questions on the admission tests aren't that difficult by themselves. It's the really challenging timed conditions that make the test really difficult. So for instance, for my maths and advanced maths sections, I had to do 40 questions in 60 minutes, which left me on average 90 seconds per question. And like I said, on their own, the questions weren't that difficult, but keeping up a good pace for 60 minutes and ensuring you're accurate for all 40 questions, that's where the difficult aspect of the admission tests comes in. So yeah, not only do lots of practice, but do lots of practice in timed conditions. So another big part that helped me be successful in my admission test was learning about satisficing. So satisficing is the combination of the words sacrificing and satisfying. So what this meant in the admission test context was sacrificing certain questions where I wasn't really getting anywhere with to satisfy the bigger goal of doing well in the admission test as a whole. So what this meant was knowing for myself when to keep going with a question, when to give up on a question and move on, and when maybe not even to start a question. And due to the time pressures, in some cases, there will be some questions which you will have to skip simply because you can't get the solution quickly, or maybe you don't even see a method or strategy to getting to the solution in the first place. It is very challenging and it will change from person to person, but being able to master this skill is really beneficial in doing well in the admission tests. I just wanna note, this isn't for all admission tests. I know some admission tests are different, but basically all the timed multiple choice ones, this is usually something that will come into play. Another key component is having a good mindset during the admission test. So what I mean by this is kind of keeping switched on and also keeping motivated and positive. So because of the extreme time pressures, it's really important to keep mentally switched on. So in school tests, it's okay and it's actually beneficial to work at a steady pace. Before these admission tests, you really need to work at a very fast and almost unsustainable pace. And what's more is to keep motivated and positive. So the way I was able to keep switched on and keep mentally sharp was by keeping motivated throughout. And the way you can keep mentally sharp and motivated is by staying positive. So when you come across that question, and inevitably most of us will, where you basically have no idea, you don't know, don't get into a negative mindset from that. It's one question, move on, keep going, stay positive, and that will keep you mentally switched on and mentally sharp. Another really important thing, which a lot of students fail to do, is I'd say prioritise admission tests over school tests, at least for the two weeks before the admission test. And this is because you have loads of opportunities in school to prove yourself, to prove what you're worth, your predicted grades, etc. But this is the one shot you've got at the submission test. And thus, I'd put the admission test kind of at a higher pedestal than school test for this period. What I did personally, I literally just told my teachers, I've got my admission test coming up, I'm gonna be prioritizing this over schoolwork. You know, if my marks drop off a little bit in school tests and my homework isn't to the same high quality, this is the reason why. 
and they were all really understanding. Some even gave me some extensions on homework and were a lot more lenient. So just be honest with your teachers and definitely prioritize the admission test work over your schoolwork for this period. And tips for essays and admission tests, I'd say always do a plan. And I'm actually someone who's quite against plans in general, but because the admission test is quite high pressure, I think a plan helps you calm you down and kind of see your thoughts on the paper. And then also, if not much is coming to you, you can't really get any thoughts, just start writing. So for a bit of context, half of my admission test was an essay. And what I found is that for one of the points, I couldn't really think of much. But when I started writing, points just came to me, thoughts just came to me, and I got it on the page. So if you can't think of anything, just start writing and hopefully those thoughts and your knowledge will come back to you. Also, I definitely think for the essays, focus on quality over quantity. I personally think it's better to show universities the best of your ability and the bright sparks you have, rather than just lots and lots of decent points and okay detail, but not that great of an essay. And then the final aspect of admission tests which I wanna talk about is guessing. Now guessing is something that I've never really done before in any other test, and I'm guessing lots of you have never had to resort to it in your tests. But because admission tests are high pressure, sometimes you may not always finish all the questions. And what's more, because a lot of admission tests are multiple choice and you don't lose points for getting questions wrong, guessing may be essential. So I think in the multiple choice section of my admission test, I had to guess a few answers. And all I'm gonna say is don't be ashamed and don't leave it too late to start guessing. And then the final thing I wanna say is that admission tests are stressful and they are important, but don't put too much stress and pressure on yourself to perform well on these tests. They only make up one component of a large application. There are many other things that universities will look at as well as your admission tests. Things like your personal statement, your grades, your predicted grades, your teacher references, your interviews, if you have them, submitted work and much more. So yes, do the best you can to prepare yourself for these tests. If it doesn't go exactly how you wanted, don't be too hard on yourself that other parts of your application can lift it up. So that wraps this video up. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below and I'll see you next week. Goodbye.